it is all but confirmed that former Dallas Mavericks Spencer Dinwiddie is most likely to sign with the Dallas Mavericks for at least the remainder of the season as this most recent game last night against the New York Knicks. A few people spotted Spencer Dinwiddie in, in the crowd. I know in our last video, we speculated that he may be there, but it was confirmed that he was there and was having some lengthy conversations with the Dallas Mavericks owner, Mark Cuban. How's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, bringing you the latest and greatest of the Dallas Maverick news. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the content and all the news that we are dropping here for you. But without further ado, let's just get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I just dropped the video about Spencer Dinwiddie, but it was confirmed last night against the New York Knicks that Spencer Dinwiddie was in the building. He was caught courtside after the game talking to Dallas owner Mark Cuban, Dallas Mavericks owner, Mark Cuban. Now, what could they have been talking about? Is it a coincidence that he was traded to the Toronto Raptors and then dropped right before the end of the trade deadline while still in New York? Why not go see your old team, the Dallas Mavericks? But what business could you have with the owner, Mark Cuban, knowing that you are on the trade market? I'm not on the trade market, but you're on the buyout market. You, you're, you're no longer on a team. The Lakers might be interested in you, as it was reported earlier today by Shams that Dallas is pursuing a Spencer Dinwiddie reunion. So we know it's happening. We know that the Dallas Mavericks are interested in, in the fact that we have footage, we have pictures of you, Spencer Dinwiddie, at the game talking to the Mavericks owner, Mark Cuban. Call it tampering if you want. I call it tactfully recruiting the players you need. And that's what Mark Cuban's doing. He's tactfully trying to recruit Spencer Dinwiddie. Do come back to Dallas saying, I understand we trade you for Kyrie, but if you think about it, the stars aligned, everything's working the way it is, you can come back. So it's kind of like we got Kyrie just for Dorian Finney-Smith. See, it all works out. It's all about your perspective and how you look at it. But Spencer, Di or free agent, it was reported that free agent guard Spencer Dinwiddie is at Madison Square Garden for the Knicks Mavs tonight. Sitting behind the Dallas bench, the Lakers and Mavericks are among teams Dinwiddie is considering signing with per league sources. So right there, league sources have confirmed it. He was there. He was actually behind the bench. I showed you a little clip there of a video that he was seen talking to Mark Cuban, but he's he's interested but he's also interested in the Los Angeles Lakers. They have also been reported trying to make a push for Dinwiddie. It's been it's been known that Dinwiddie wants to wants to be in LA. I, I want to say he's from LA. Wouldn't mind going back to playing for the hometown team. And I said in the last video, you may want to think about that because you will be the scapegoat, even though even if you're not the the highest paid player on the Lakers, even if you're not a main piece, if you're just a bench piece, they will they will chew you up and spit you out and remind you that it is your fault. Spencer Dinwiddie, you want to come back to what you know. You want to come back to what you love. Come on. What's better than Dallas, Spencer? We actually want you. And win, lose, or draw, we we all share the blame. It's not going to be all on you. I mean, Juice World. Or, I'm sorry, Juice Land. Think about Juice Land, Spencer Dinwiddie. They will give you free smoothies smoothies for life. The offer is negotiable, but but they miss you. We love you. We need you. Spencer, that's how we all feel. So after last night's game to the New York Knicks that the Dallas Mavericks did win, Luka had a phenomenal game per usual. But this isn't about him. This is about Spencer Dinwiddie. The footage. Boom. The reports. Boom. Even Jason Kidd. At the end of the game against the New York Knicks, Jason Kidd on trade deadline additions, he said, I would just like to ask every or ask everyone to have some patience. Because anytime you add two, two new pieces or maybe three new pieces, it takes time to get a rhythm and to understand each other. But we're very excited to have these two. What do you mean by that? Hold on, let me do my Brian Wynn, my Brian Wynn horse. What could he have meant by that? Two or three? Because we know you got Daniel Gafford, right? We know you got P.J. Washington. That's two. What do you mean three? Jason Kidd, I know that you're a questionable head coach as of late. I've seen the Maverick Spaces, Maverick Twitter talking about the the ability to coach and how you may lack that but are you lacking your math skills because you only got two new players is that third player Spencer Dinwiddie is there something that Jason Kidd knows that we don't know but if you guys stay tuned if you make sure you like comment subscribe do all that stuff we are going to be following the Spencer Dinwiddie watch see if he does choose this time with the Dallas Mavericks for the remainder of the year or the Los Angeles Lakers but regardless thank you for making this far again make sure you subscribe and I'll be back here with more Mavericks news peace